What's up, Levers King Chocolate in this motherfucker? Thank you very much. <clears throat> I'm about to give you your Sunday fun day messages, baby, baby. If you never seen before, put it in the comment section. Let me know that you never seen before, but that you subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. I want to know in the comment section if you subscribe or not. Thank you. If you're new, if you're returning, you are welcome here. It's all real. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> if you want to book a private session, you book it by emailing me, and I will get to you right away. I will book you. I'm the best. I'm the quickest booker, and I'm the most accurate doing it. So if you want a private session, don't hesitate to ask for one. I will definitely get you in as quickly as I can. They booking me up every day, all day. You understand me? Thank you very much. My gift speaks for itself, Libras. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all having a wonderful. Uh, I hope y'all having a wonderful Sunday. You know what I'm saying? So you know how to book a private session. You know what to do if you knew. The only thing you need to know now is I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you what you need to hear. You know what I'm saying? That's what's going to make you free, Libras. You dig? You people know how I get down. Thank you very much. And I know how y'all get down. That's why y'all rock with King Chocolate. Thank you very much. Hey, we want King Choco. I'm going to show y'all a picture of something. <clears throat> My artist designed a skateboard. Man, it's better than the last one that she had made. So, <clears throat> she was noticing that I promote chocolate pie on my channel. I got the best chocolate pie. So, I'm going to show y'all a picture of something real quick. Give me one second while I roll this up. You know what I mean? Thank you very much. Shout out to everybody that's a Libra, Crosswatcher, whoever that's really rocking with me. You feel me? Thank you very much. I hope your weekend has been great. I hope your dreams are coming to pass. I hope you work in the right system. <clears throat> I hope you're humbling yourself. Thank you very much, Libras. You know what I mean? Thank you very much. We're going to get right into y'all's messages, you know? <clears throat> Ain't no reason to hesitate. Think long, think wrong. Somebody dealing with a breakup, <clears throat> a divorce, breakup, a tragedy, some kind of fight happened not too, too long ago, if it wasn't this weekend. Somebody got 10 swords in your back now. <clears throat> I don't know who it's from. It could be a fake lover, fake friend, a fake family member. Somebody just let you down again. Ten swords in your back. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Virgo. You dig? <clears throat> Some of y'all dealing with grief and pain and pressure. You're dealing with nonsense and foolishness, ain't you? Yes, you are. It ain't for everybody. Somebody dealing with some bullshit. Pain in your heart. A backstab is around you. I don't even care if they smile in your face. But some of y'all are recuperating. Now, Ten Swords is a, actually, it's like a blessing at the, on the other side of that energy. Because Ten is an ending of mind games and betrayal. Y'all got a new chapter coming to where there won't be mind games and betrayal and slick, conniving ass energies. Now, I'm talking work situations and romantic situations. Damn it. Shit. The fuck? There's old chapters getting ready to close in your life because you don't need them no more. Y'all going to move fast. Y'all going to travel with the chariot energy popping out. El carro or the chariot is transportation. It's relocating. It's moving fast to victory. Y'all going to come out of a slump, a, a slump that you've been in. I see a slump. Shit slowed down for you. Kind of you feel almost bored and like the fuck you know what i'm saying things are gonna pick up in the month of september thank you very much y'all know i'm right you can wait to see what got dropped on sunday funday couldn't you hmm
something good gonna happen for some of you people especially ones that hit that like button and comment you might know a chair uh cancer they rule the chariot energy are you related to a cancer Do you know a cancer that's playing a man game with you? How about a Sagittarius or a Capricorn? Are they playing games, wishy-washy games? One minute they in, the next day out? Okay, well, somebody playing a man game with you. You say up, they say down. They ain't in agreement on nothing. They just, they got an argument of spirit, you know what I'm saying? They the type wake up wondering who can they debate and argue with today, you know what I'm saying? That type of energy is around some of you people. It could be any motherfucking body. These energies ain't got no gender, you dig? Five sources of Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Virgo. Some of y'all gonna celebrate something in the month of September in Virgo season like it's y'all's birthday or something, even though it's not your birthday season. But some of y'all gonna get a wish. It's gonna be like a birthday present. You're gonna get, you're gonna breathe better. Especially, there's, it's, a, it's a particular weird ass cycle you've been involved in. Some of y'all for years, that cycle gonna come to an end. I'm gonna tell you that now. You know what I'm saying? You could know a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces you're gonna hook up with. You're going to go out, you're going to celebrate with this cut person or Sagittarius or Leo. It's going to be a celebration with these kinds of peoples. <clears throat> um, a union. It's definitely going to be a union. I don't know how far it's going to go, but they are water or fire sign. You're going to connect with them and y'all going to connect tightly, strongly right away. Somebody got water in their chart. You, them, whoever. But I'm going to tell you this now. It's something you're not seeing. Something's got you thrown off like the moon, you know. Now, the moon can be deception or just you're not seeing something clearly or somebody ain't seeing you clearly. When the moon come out, you don't see everything the way, the way it really is. You see everything the way it is when the sun come out. You see what's in your yard the bird shit that's on your car you see that in the sunshine at night you don't see those birds shitting on your vehicle no you don't you be sleep snoring and farting all over the place and belching shit your bones be cracking like a motherfucker too sound like cracker jacks in your room captain crunch cereal remember how hard it used to be shit either somebody blinding you or you feel you just it's something you're not seeing and it got something to do with a connection they a water sign now the fire sign that you're going the one a couple y'all gonna deal with you don't feel confused about it but it's so fresh to where you don't know what's gonna happen is a fire sign motherfucker. You, you you might ain't met him yet, or or if you did very shoot, the days ago, that's how fresh this energy is. You know what I'm saying? Thank you very much. Page of Cups. It's a small offer of love. It's a friendly relationship that's gonna grow and turn into a ten of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Leo. Sagittarius and Virgo very new people all these people I'm being shown is so new there's no way these are past people I'm seeing they, they new because it's going to catch you by surprise on me people in the month of September how you connect with the right connections and how your finances is going to kick in as your love life kicking in it's going to be almost simultaneously you know what I'm saying thank you very much I know what I'm doing shit whatever I see is what I'm going to say you're gonna flirt with somebody and they're gonna flirt right along with you and y'all gonna flirt your way right into a relationship but it's somebody you're turning your back on or an institution family or something 
I don't care if you're a man or a woman, you're turning your back on something. You, you're spending time alone. Some of y'all say, I got to meditate. I got to get my mind right. I got to cut energy out that's all over the motherfucking place. And they want me to be all scattered all over the goddamn place and bullshit it up too. Thank you very much. I can see that, you know. It's good when you turn your back on stuff sometimes. Sometimes it's good. People tell you, don't you turn your back on me. Well, I don't want to stand here and fight and fuss and act a damn idiot with you. I don't want to go further with you. I want you to be behind me. Not on the side, not in front of me. I want you behind me. I want you to be stay to stay in my past and leave me the fuck alone. Some of y'all can seek answers on the inside of yourself. You're going to search the God in you. You're going to connect the right way. And your intuition is going to tell you, move this way, move this way, move like this, move like this. Then you're going to have an ace of pentacles in your situation. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, that's a lot of money and a lot of honey. Pentacle is also relationship and commitments. It's time and money. You got a lot of that coming. An ace, a pinnacle is a new love and a new offer of money, a new town, new, new, new. Ten pinnacles is a happy home, a husband, a wife, kids, leaving a legacy, the old-fashioned dream that everybody used to dream that, you know what I mean? The picket fence, the dog, you know what I mean? Some of y'all got that coming, ten of pinnacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, so you're going to deal with an earth sign, a water sign, a cup of fire. couple of fires you walking away from idiotic bullshit that's for sure you're disconnecting real soon in the month of september it's gonna be a disconnect y'all walking away or somebody walking away from you but it's gonna be a disconnect one way or another something is not emotionally satisfying you anymore it's wore out it's done it's over with in september it's gonna finalize and you're gonna be on the road to to something else you know something better for you there's a few of you dealing with three of swords in your chest. So that means very recently somebody let you down, broke your heart, or they feel broken hearted by you. It's some quiet energy, a secret being kept, Pisces somewhere. Pisces in your chart or somebody else's chart, but <clears throat> trust your intuition. <clears throat> Trust your intuition for sure, you know. You got great times coming ahead, but everybody ain't happy about that. More than you know, it's a secret. Some people tell you, good luck, I wish you well, and they don't wish a motherfucker thing. But you got a lover coming. You got two choices, that past life or this new life that's presented. You could know a Gemini. Love, love, love is a major kind for Gemini. You know what I mean? Somebody special coming to you if they ain't in your life already. But there's some bullshit nonsense going to try to distract you. Queen of Cups, end your session, baby, baby. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, very intuitive energy is coming towards you. The Queen of Cups just simply mean intuitive and falling in love because the next person you get with and exchange numbers with and kick it with and all that shit you're gonna fall in love like never before and they're gonna tell you that they ain't never fell in love like like they are with you it's gonna blow your mind when they tell you that but i know that's what y'all gonna say to each other almost some simultaneous they are perfect fit they got good energy on them they got a good head on their shoulder they got a good heart but the distractors and the bullshitters ain't gonna like it. They might not ever see the person, but they gonna they they feel it. You know what I mean? I can feel them feeling it. That's how stupid and dark they are. Somebody in your energy can feel that your life is getting ready to take off like never before. They don't want to happen, even though it's a secret that they're not telling you that. But that's how they feel. Coworker, friend, family. 
whoever, you know. Everybody don't give a fuck about us, y'all feel me? You gonna deal with the heartbreak from the past. They called you all kind of goddamn names and shit. You said, you ain't gonna keep disrespecting me, punk ass. He said, bitch, stay away from my phone. That's all I know. Why are you posting shit? You talking about me. I wouldn't even pay a motherfucker attention if I think they would thought they were talking about me. You know what I mean? But some people spy on each other, see? You pull on that same energy because you're doing the same motherfucking thing. You dig? But y'all got great days coming. Just know everybody ain't going to be happy about it. That's the truth y'all need to hear. September going to be wonderful. But somebody is a bugaboo. They own some bullshit. I don't know who it is. Male, females. I see both of them. Own bullshit. Smiling in your face. Whole time they want to take your place. They are backstabbing when you ain't around them. When When they ain't in your presence, they ain't saying nice things about you. Those kinds of peoples. They ain't your energy shit. God showed me that for a reason. So did you have a heads up and know that you can't move with everybody? Come on. Come on, move with me. Come on. Hang out with me. Let me see how you move. Move. Watch how I move. Let's move together. And you're going to move right on. Some people move differently than what they say they move. You know what I'm saying? Move me and act the way they act, you know what I'm saying, the way they hair, candle, carry themselves. In the beginning, they're very charming and full of shit. Then you find out they're a devil, they're a demon. Y'all leaving them kind of people alone. Don't ever go back to it. And then you can head into your destiny. But if you tip and dip with it, you know what you're doing now. Nobody usually break it down like I do, but you know now. Some of y'all found my channel was like, man, do I know now. This, that, that, mm, that I needed. We heard the pretty stories on, they come in, they this, that. We needed to hear the raw and the uncut. My name is King Chocolate. If you like what I just did, new people, put it in the comment section. Let me know that you subscribe to my channel and that you rock it with the king. I'm a manly man. My name is King Chocolate. Nobody does it like me, you hear me? I didn't need no cards. I just needed him to show me some pictures, you dig? If you want to book a private session with the best of the best, you're looking at them, you'll book as soon as you get down with this video. Put the KFC and the Taco Bell down. Not only are you going to lose some weight, but you're going to be more equipped to handle Boaz when he come. He don't want to smell taco smell on you. Thank you very much. My name is King Chocolate. Shout out to all my subscribers and chocoholics out there. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday fun day, baby. Baby. I'm out of here, y'all. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's go.